Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. Hello, peoples. We're back with another question of the week. This is going to be a really good one. I think it is a lot of information that Steve's going to give you, so uh, be prepared. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this question of the week says, I was just on a small engine Facebook group, and I asked a question. Someone said that my engine may be hydraulic but he won't answer me back what that means. Help. Steve, what is hydraulic? Is that right? Yeah. Well, no, it's actually, it, no, it, I understand what he means <clears throat> by this, and we do get this question a lot. Um, first of all, I have to say, uh, be careful when you go to those Facebook small engine groups, because there are people on there I'm like a member of like the top three ones <clears throat> and I just kind of, I just kind of uh, in the background, I don't really comment too much on those, but I read a lot of them. And there are some people on those groups that I swear they are giving false information on purpose. Mm. They are giving you bad information because they think it's funny. They're trollers. I truly believe that. I read some of those sometimes, and and I'm just like, you can't possibly be giving this guy that answer. So this guy says hydraulic. I know what he means by that. It's technically called hydrolock. When you say it fast enough, sometimes I even do that, eh? When 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 I want to say hydrolock, I say it too fast, and it comes out hydraulic. Huh? It's spelled differently. Anyway. The, the, Very the, different thing. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing with the, the hydro locking an engine, it's actually quite simple. Say this: you have a you have a cylinder right here. That's a chainsaw cylinder, and there's a piston. The piston goes up and down through the cylinder. Now, just pretend this is the top of the cylinder right here, and the piston is going up and down like that. <clears throat> now, air compresses, so. In normal running operation, the piston comes up and it compresses the air and gets to top dead center, and then it come it can come back down on the on the downstroke. Air compresses, fluid does not compress. Hmm. We are talking uh, engine oil, water can be in your engine, and fuel. Any of that fluid that gets on top of the piston comes up to the top of the cylinder and it can't compress that, so it's squeezing it, but it can't get all the way to the top dead center to release and then come back down again. So you're pulling that rope and uh, it, it's stuck, locked, hydrolocked. Right. Yeah, so that's what, that, that's what hydrolock actually means. So do you know where the word uh, hydrolock came from, Steve? Hydrolock, uh, a lot of people think hydro is water, right? Hydro, water. I don't think it actually means that. I think it, it's short for hydrostatic lock or something like that. So does this happen in all or, engines or is it just two stroke or four stroke? Both, yeah. Oh, both. Yeah, oh. two strokes and four strokes it, it can happen on, absolutely. On a, on a four stroke engine, it can either be engine oil stuck on the top of the piston or fuel. On a two-stroke engine, of course, there's no engine oil in it, so if you have a hydro-locked two-stroke engine, then it's going to be fuel on top of that. How do you prevent this from happening? So, hydro-locked engines are usually from either on a four-stroke, say you have a lawnmower and you tip it over the wrong way, engine oil seeps up past there and you get engine oil on top of that piston. Sometimes that so in other words, learn how to tip your lawnmower over correctly. And we've That's got correct. a video on that. You Bo better watch Boy, that. do we have, we, I mean, that video, yeah, check that <laughs> video out because it's hitting darn near like 2 million views or something on how to tip your lawnmower over properly. And that's what that whole video is about, is so you do not hydraulic, hi, hi, see, I just said it, <laughs> hydraulic. Did. Oh my gosh. I know, wow. hydrolock your engine, that's what that video is about. And then the other thing you're saying, two strokes. Okay, so it can happen on two strokes also, but that is not from engine oil. It's from fuel. 
Okay, it's not from tipping it over on a two-stroke though, because you can tip a two-stroke over, store a two-stroke engine however you want to. Uh, uh, so it's not from tipping it over wrong. It's from, usually on a two-stroke, it's from your needle and seat in the carburetor is allowing fuel to pass through and it fills the engine, uh, the cylinder up with fuel, mixed fuel. And then that's jammed on the top of the piston too. Okay. So that's two stroke, four stroke. Cool. Yeah. Now, is it worth fixing something that's been tied <clears> to <throat> a lot? Like, is it uh, Absolutely. expensive? Absolutely. No, fix? no, it's easy to fix it. You don't need any parts or anything. You can, and a lot of people will say, Oh, did I damage? Okay, it is hydrolocked. Uh, did I say hydrolock? Yeah, hydrolock. Um, <laughs> you gotta really wow. pay attention now. Uh, if you did that, it's not gonna hurt your engine. You pull your spark plug out, and uh, you're gonna see fluid in there, and you can uh, turn it upside down, drain it out. You can uh, pull the engine over. Will it just spray it out? I have a very funny story about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, well, let's wait till the end before I tell you that story. It's a, it's bad. It's a really horrible story, actually. <laughs> Does it create a lot of smoke? Uh, yeah, yeah. Once you actually start the engine, once you clear the hydro lock out, so you can actually put the spark plug back in, and then you start pulling the rope, and it's turning over fine now. It's not hydro locked anymore. Once you start the engine, it probably will smoke a little bit, but that will clear up. It's just burning the excess fluid. So out. don't panic if it smokes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. have you seen our smoke show video? <laughs> you should check that out. Oh, that one too, yeah. That's funny. By the way, we got video uh, uh, <laughs> links right underneath this video for all these other stuff we're talking about. Yeah, for links. Sure, so check those for links sure. out in um, the description, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what's your story? Give it to me. <clears throat> this is horrible, horrible story. <laughs> so when I worked at Walker's Saw Shop a few years ago, my boss's wife, this is so unfortunate, it was his wife, she works at the front counter, and, uh, and I was in the middle of fixing a Honda engine, and I thought it was hydrolocked. It was a Honda GX340, not that that matters, but it's a big Honda general purpose engine. <clears throat> and I had uh, the, the, uh, the starter taken off, for some reason, and then I had just taken the spark plug out, and it was pointed this way, and I had my hand on the flywheel just as she walked up. Oh no! Oh, do you see where this is to going? To ask me a question, <laughs> she, she, and then she started asking me a couple questions, just general, you know, business questions, what I was doing, and as I'm standing there watching her, I don't know why I did it, but I just was watching her and listening to her question. I turned the flywheel. I just went like this with the flywheel. And it shot <laughs> a stream of oil and gasoline out of that spark plug hole and hit her right in the face. <laughs> right as I was watching her. Oh, no. See, that's what I did. I burst out laughing because I watched it hit her in the face. And I burst out laughing, and then as soon as I burst out laughing, I just went instantly went, oh, whoa! In your in your <laughs> eyes, she actually wears glasses, like not safety glasses, but just normal yeah. glasses, right? Yeah. Thank God she was wearing those glasses because instantly I just went, oh my God, gas and oil in your eyes, right? <gasps> and then I then I wasn't laughing anymore. I was like pulling shop rags out, like clean shop rags, even and just saying, wipe your face off and. <laughs> And none got in her eyes, thank goodness. Yeah. But, uh, but. Wow. Boy, it, Be yeah. prepared then. <laughs> so, yeah, so my, so my point is, um, if you think your engine is hyd hydro, I almost said it again, hydro locked. Hydro locked. When you pull that spark plug out, don't stare right down the spark plug hole as you pull it over to see if something's in there. <laughs> like that one, it, it, it was it was it was bad it was really horrible horrible thing oh my gosh yeah. that would be awful yeah <clears throat> wow and uh and i uh, hey, hey deb if you're still watching if you're watching this right now i swear i've apologized to you before i swear i did not do that didn't on purpose. Do it on purpose. i did not do that wink, on purpose <laughs> and then it's my boss's wife 
it's my boss's wife, so I'm like talking to my boss, John Walker, and I'm like, dude, don't fire me. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Don't fire me. Oh, no, wow. it, was, it was horrible. That horrible was horrible. Day. Oh, poor Deb. Yep. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you. I think that answered our question, or yeah. our, our uh, viewer's question. That yep. was fantastic. So if you missed last week's, don't forget to check out, uh, it was on uh, that little, that, that metal clip that's on your lawnmower cord. It was very interesting. Uh, definitely go back, check that out. It's a Saloon Mail playlist, uh, or just snoop the channel, of course. Yeah. Um, hope you like this. Give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I think that's all we got for this week, and uh, we'll be back with another question of the week next week. Beautiful. Can I finally crack this sucker open now? All right. All right. Till yes, I, I guess till next week or till our next yeah. video, whatever. April and Steve out. See you next week.